Cellulitis is a common disease with red legs and fever. Some patients keep coming with cellulitis. We need to know why cellulitis comes again and again. In case of lymphedema, that's a large swollen limbs called elephantiasis or somebody who is smoking or diabetes who gets red legs and then they go to the hospital repeatedly. Some lesions or some diseases on the leg or a swollen leg or which triggers the cellulitis. What are they? We in technical terms called bacterial entry point. That is bacteria like streptococci or streptococci which induce cellulitis they enter on the skin to the circulation or the tissues and cause cellulitis. For example, bank manager going to the bank every day wearing shoes and that person uh, has a, a white uh, thing on, between the toes called intertrigo that can induce cellulitis or somebody is having itching, swollen legs with itching and then there's a oozing what we call eczema that can induce cellulitis. Somebody improperly cuts a nail and then injures a nail and the patient is diabetic or smoking, that can induce cellulitis because bacteria can enter there. And sometimes we walk or some injury is there, we put some strap around, some injury happens on the skin or we, uh, so that, that causes, that's called excoriation, that can cause cellulitis. Some people get red, red pimples, what we in technical term called folliculitis, around the, around the hair, some red things come, that can cause cellulitis. These are called bacterial entry points. So we should carefully look into the patients who get repeated red legs and treat these bacterial entry points. They get a bigger relief, their frequency of getting cellulitis reduces.